I was about six or seven. I really didn't know what exactly it was. Joel, first abuser, struck at when I, probably when I was seven years old, and the second one was when I was 11 or 12. I had never been taught that these touches were bad and that, you know, my body belonged to myself. Um, I was assaulted from age four to age 10. If anyone touches you inappropriately, it's important to tell someone about it. And that it's never too late to tell. And that if you tell someone and it doesn't stop happening, keep telling someone. Keep telling someone until it stops happening. My name is Jessica Paradise, and I'm, the, I'm a former volunteer. You know, if, if we can't keep our kids safe, what are we doing? You know, it's like you know what if 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 we just had something out there, if kids just knew. Most kids don't know that this isn't supposed to be happening to them. I'm Kathy Beebe, I'm the Executive Director at SAS. The mission of SAS is really twofold. Um, we try to be there 24 hours a day to support anyone who's been impacted by sexual violence. And we do that through a confidential 24-hour hotline, we do that through support groups, we do that through accompaniments, whether they be at the hospital after someone's been victimized. So that's a big piece of what we do. But the other part of our mission is we, we don't want to be here anymore. We want to no longer exist as SAS, so we really work hard to prevent children and adults in our community from being victimized. We have a comprehensive program in the schools called Safe Kids Strong Teens, where we go into grades K through 12, and we work with kids with age-appropriate classroom-based presentations to really look at personal body safety, finding a trusted grown-up if you're hurt, confused, or scared. With the middle schools, we look a lot at bullying and power and control issues and sexual harassment. And then at the high school level, we do more unhealthy dating relationships, teen dating violence, power control consent, and helping kids really construct some of the messages that they see in the media. Although we still get questions sometimes about what it is we're going to do in the classroom, how we're going to do it, how can you possibly speak to this issue to very young children, one of the things that we can say that we've always been really proud of is that we've never had a parent, no matter how opposed to this, once they come and see it, we've never had them refuse to allow their child to sit through it. My name is Diane Lavoy, and I am the Director of Education here at SAS, and I've been here for 11 years. The primary goal really is just general prevention, so if it should happen to a child, that they know what to do and they have the skills, and they know they have the right to get help. My name is Sarah Shanahan, I'm a Violence Prevention Educator at SAS, and I've been working in this position for 11 years. I would say that the Safe Kids Strong Teens program is a comprehensive, research-based program that helps kids to prevent violence, that helps to teach them skills for reporting and avoiding violence, um, but also how to deal with violence in their own lives. I don't think you did anything wrong. Do you guys think she did anything wrong? No. no! No! Yeah, you didn't do anything wrong, and it's not your fault that that happened, so I don't think you'd be in trouble at all. Well, you know what? I didn't think I did anything wrong. I was just really confused, but you know what? When for you to tell me that I didn't do anything wrong, it's wrong you guys to say I didn't do anything wrong. That makes me feel a lot better. Yeah, and you know what? I think I think you could tell somebody about this because this sounds like the kind of thing that you should tell somebody about. Well, well, you know what? It made me feel so much better to tell you and all you guys. I think I would even like maybe to tell a grown-up. Yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. Well, what do you guys think? Do you do you think I could tell a grown-up about this? Yeah. yeah. I think if SAS was around, um, I would have I would have told sooner. Well, the entire time from 4 to 10, I told no one anything. I said nothing. Even when I was uncomfortable, even when I knew something was wrong, I was um, told not to tell. I was warned what would happen if I told. I was made to believe that I was bad about this. But after I saw that presentation the first time that someone else had actually talked to me about the issue, it was that day that I told my parents. I went directly home from school and told them. Seeing a film strip at school, seeing a video, having another adult say that it wasn't okay, was um, what made it all make sense to me. Before that, you know, I came from a loving family, loving parents, no one ever suspected any of this was happening. Um, they would have put a stop to it immediately if anyone had ever even thought that this was possible. We are so excited about what we do at SAS because we know the importance of what we're teaching the kids. We hope that you're able to see that passion and join us in our fight to keep every child in our community safe.